o saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, Gikan sa MTV, CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Kapuluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Gobernur Garcia, nipagawas ng memorandum sa pagwag tangog multa sa huwag magsulubog face mask. Mayor Labilia, mimando nga bliha na ang karbon ng uban pang merkado sa matag adlang Domingo. Mayog unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban ang iniusang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami matod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, ang likurban sa dakbayan sa Subo magpadayon. Samtang kadaadlaw ng mga kaso sa coronavirus disease, padayong nagsakakanaog. Subling gipatuman sa syudad, ang likurban ni Adtong Pebrero, humanisaka ang kaso sa COVID-19. Gipahibaw usab sa mayor na ang multa sa mga makalapas sa health protocol, magpadayon usab. Matod nila Bilya na ang syudad adunay ordinansa nga nagpahamtang og silot batok sa mga mulapa sa health protocols. Samtang ni pagawas na og memorandum si Governor Gwendolyn Garcia sa probinsya sa Sugbo alang sa mga mayor sa nagkadaiyang lungsod o nagkadaiyang dakbayan sa probinsya sa Sugbo alang sa pagtangtang na sa multa sa mga tao nga wa magsulob og face mask. Sa sayo pa si Garcia ni Hulagway nga antay por ang pagpamulta sa mga wa magsulob og face mask. Apan ang dakbayan sa Sugbo mi pahibaw nga bisan pa sa mao nga kamanduan si gobernador sila dinhi sa dakbayan sa Sugbo padayong mopatuman sa multa Setiap tong makalapa sa health protocol. Pablihan na ni Mayor Edgardo Labilia ang merkado publiko sa karbon guban pa nga mga merkado nga iya sa syudad matag adlang Domingo sugod ni karong Abril 25. Si Labilia ni issue og Executive Order 128 kagahapong adlawa nga buksa na ang merkado sa adlang Domingo apan gikinahanglan nga ipatuman og sundon gihapon ang minimum nga health protocols ang merkado sa karbon gisugdan og sirado matag adlaw nga Domingo sugod pa ni adtong September 30 sa maging tuig ubos sa Executive Order number 94 alang sa pagpahigayon o disinfeksyon. Ang mayor ni Ingon na nakahukom siya sa pagbalik o abli gumikan sa hangi usab sa mga tao din ni sa dakbayan sa Sugbo o sa mga kasikbit ka mga local government unit. Kay permanente na na abli ang karbon, ang disinfeksyon, ipahigayon o sab panahon sa oras sa kurfyo sa litwa na may tao nga mamalit sa ilang mga baligya. Update sa COVID-19 sa Central Visayas, ang dakbayan sa Sugbo, adunay 69 kabagong kaso. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang dakbayan sa Mandawi, Siam, Lapu-Lapu, 19. Sa Lalawigan sa Sugbo, 74. Negros Oriental, 25. Sikihor, way bagong kaso. Buhol, 24. Sa Kinatibukan, mabot sa 220 kabagong kaso sa coronavirus. Dinhi sa Rion 7, kagahapong Adlawa. PCSO nagpasalamat sa dinalian nga aksyon sa kapulisan sa syudad sa Sugbo pagsikop sa mga illegal nga mga small town lottery apang gigamyan ra sila sa gidaghanon sa mga nadakpan sa PNP ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante Niadtong biking semana gihingos gandayon sa kapulisan sa Sudi sa Sugbo ang kampanya batok sa illegal nga small town lottery kun STL nga mikatap sa dakbayan human mimando si Mayor Ricardo Lebelia sa talaan nga gipahibaw ni Police Colonel Josefino Rigan aduna gid 18 ka mga teller sa illegal nga STL ang gipagsakmit og gipangdakop usab ang mga ushers nga naabtan nga nang isyu og numero sa surtres matud ni Ligan nga sa diha nga nadawat nila ang reklamo mipagawas dayon siya nga kamanduan alang sa 11 ka mga station commanders nga pandakpo nang bisan unsa nga matang sa illegal nga sugal sa Jurisdiction. Yes, uh, last week actually I had an emergency meeting with all the station commanders and it was reiterated in my policy directive instructing them to 
conduct uh, anti-gambling operations, particularly on number games. Tungkol din ni kapasalamatan ni Glenn Jesus Sarada, ang branch manager sa Cebu City PSSO, ang kapulusan nga sa nilihan ng aksyon sa lagar reklamo o dako na kinigtabang ilibina sa pagpuhang sa parayan ng operasyon sa illegal nga numbers game. Lagip sila hanggang ipasalamatan si Mayor Diyan Lulebelia, nga naminaw sila ng reklamo labot ni ini. Tungkol kayo sa kinisa nakapalugi sa kita sa PSSO, di ni Malik Rao sabi nila kinisa pagtabang sa mga kabusa mas sa pagpalitong tambal. Malamat kayo ang PSSO sa atong PNP, especially sa under the leadership of Police Colonel Jose Pino Ligan ang Cebu City kaya ang operation ng good is more on Cebu City uh, after sa uh, nabot ni sa atong mahal na mayor na si Mayor Edgardo Zabelia ang mga reklamo mo probably what we know is we have answered sa mga barangay na mga barangay na nagpangutana po ni Nino sa Ligarig. Ang pagkitungan ni Rada nga ang disiutsong nga nagpan sa kapulusan kuwang pakinikay sa ilahaga monitoring daghan pa ang makita ang mga stores na nasa dapin sa karsada o sa mga suok sa kabaranggayan nga nagpadayon sa pag-operita. Nang hinaot si Rada na ito nga mga nagpadagan sa ilegal nga sugal nga muundang nalang arun dili sila mabilanggo tungod kay padayon nga muhingusog ang PCSO uban sa kapulusan batok sa dili otorisado nga STL. Kuwang pag-inika because uh, ato lang dungog sa mga info na madawat na ito, uh, kapit ka ng barangay na amanggot, no? Uh, so, ang kaming dito, so, kulat, kamay lagi ko siya. Isa nung kusablayan kininiligan, nga tungod ni ini, iyang gimandoan ang ihanggang mga personel nga ipadayon pa ang kampanya batok sa ilegal nga STL niya sa ilang jurisdiksyon. Yes, mga nod, mga na akong direktiba git sa itong mga station commanders na di biyaan ang kampanya sa illegal gambling. It's because it's one of the flagship programs sa PNP. Now, Labi na rin na naibalit na, na yung mga reports na, na iliga, ang kusog ang illegal number na games. So, intensive. Uh, intensify ang pag-operate sa illegal number games. Ang mga illegal nga STL Matunirada, magpataya usab kiniga suwertes, kasama sa legal nga outlet sa PCSO, nga usa sa hinungdan nga mihina yung ilang sales karon. Awag sa PCSO nga at tulang sa legal mutaya, aron na makatabang usab sila sa mga nanginhanglan o tabang sama-sama mga masakitun na wala ikapalit o tambal. Arnold Bustamante, Sista News. Lapo-lapo si Te Mayor Junard Aung Chan subling misugyot sa Bridge Management Board pagbutang o grilling sa unang Mactan Mandawi Bridge. Araw malikayan ang pagkamatay pinaagis sa paglayat sa maong taytayan. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Subli nga isugyot nila palapos si Timur Jonar Da Hong Chan ngadto sa Bridge Management Board ang pagbutang railing sa First Mactan Mandawi Bridge. Kini aron kalikayan ang mga insidente sa pagpakamatay pinaagi sa paglayat sa Maong Taytayan. Actually, dugay na lang ato nga suggestion with the uh, with the bridge board no. But uh, mag dili man kita mo i-maka-decide is the bridge board no. And, and uh, the chairman is the governor. So hopefully na ma ma madungog nila ang ato ang hangyo no to, uh, to put railings on the area no ang pagbutang sa railings binabarog siguro nga dili na to nga why bakwa sila i way to cut cut Nasayran nga si Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, mao ang chairman sa Bridge Management Board, diin si Chan ang usa sa mga membro nini. Gidugang sa mayor nga taod-taod na kininiyang gisugyot sa ilang mga nanglabay nga meetings. Ang pangusa, Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office kung DRMO nga si Nadjil Banyasha, mitugan nga kantong lalaki nga mikat-kat tigahapon sa taytayan ng suway nga milayat. Ang ilahan ng turnover dito sa Social Welfare and Development Office sa lungsod sa Liluan. Nasayran nga ang mga lalaki ang naghihikog Suway, human nga ang iyang asawa nga tuwa sa Saudi ang merenew sa iyang kontrata sa trabaho o wala siya pahibawan nini. That needs to be investigated further by uh, Liluan CSWD. No, kay doon ay claim sa asawa na kaduha ko may siya tulo siya nakuhaan no, uh, because of physical abuse. And then ang bana sa niingon nga atong subject, no? Ang subject kato si Richard who attempted to commit suicide kaya ang asawa ni extend of contract sa Saudi without his knowledge 
sa iyo ni ini o sa usab ka babay ang naluwas sa so, sa ka VR driver human kini misway og layat sa so, mao nga taytayan awa ginoon ni Banyasya ni mga tawo nga nakasinating depression nga makinghinabi sila mga minahal sa kinabuhi o sa mga eksperto din andam usab ang buhatan sa City Social Welfare and Development Office kon CSWDO sa pagpaminaw sa ilang mga soliran Fatch Anthony Inso CC Tianus Welcome to mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngad sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar at ang ang atong seri 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTA Chapel daghang salamat Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This message we bring for God our intentions and prayers. We include to pray for those who ask us to pray for them. As we include to pray for the eternal repose of Tatay Buni Yagunya, who has long served the CCT and oratory as a liturgical minister. Let us include to pray for him. As we also include to pray for those who are celebrating his birthday, today, including Avia, and also we include to pray for the sick, not only those suffering from physical infirmities, but also those suffering from spiritual sickness. Brethren, let us acknowledge of our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and hid south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert road. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with, with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him, who will tell of his posterity, for his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed, Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is a water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. 
when they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him to no more, but continued in his way rejoicing. Philip came to Asatus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven. 
so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says in this Gospel, whoever believes has eternal life. Eternal life. We hear it often. Especially these days of the Easter season. Eternal life. I think this is what we are here for. I think this is the very center of our faith. We are men and women of faith. We are Easter people. And Alleluia is our song. We are men and women of faith. And we believe in this eternal life. This is where... This is what we hold on to with the realities of life with the realities of death we hold on to eternal life I said earlier we include to pray in this mass the eternal repose of the soul of Tataiboni Agonia who died yesterday he has been long serving the CCT in oratory he and uh, his wife Naimeri they have been long friends with Tatay Dodong, Nanay Dayan. And they have been serving the, this beautiful oratory of CCTN and also the Oasis of Love. Let us include to pray for eternal repose of uh, Tatay Boni. When I heard first the news of his death yesterday, I am in the middle of island hopping together with seminary formators and uh, our workers you know in the middle of our swimming and eating when I heard the news it seems that the world suddenly stops and to me it seems that I feel so vulnerable I feel so the reality about me not in control of anything You know, this is not the funeral mass of Tatay Boni yet, but I'm saying this feeling because he has been a friend and he has been serving this oratory faithfully, I believe. And with that, I said, this is what life is. And I believe that is, that is what happened to the disciples seeing Jesus on the cross. Seeing Jesus who died on the cross, that's the trauma of death. Their dreams perhaps suddenly are gone. Their hopes for a Messiah suddenly were gone because of the trauma of death. Oh no, the person we believe to be the Messiah died on the cross. Can you imagine that? Their hopes were with him. Their dreams were with him. But they saw him crucified. He is dead. With that, now look at, feel the beauty of the resurrection. Now you could appreciate more the joy of the resurrection when you see the trauma of death. What death brings. But with this, that's why Christ said, whoever believes has eternal life. Our faith in the resurrection, our faith in the risen Lord restores everything. It restores our hope. It restores our inspiration to live more and more for God. It restores our joy and more reasons to live. The resurrection. Sometimes in life, we live every day to survive. That is what happens in most cases. Sorry if I have to say that, but that is what happens. We live every day to survive. We forget to live life in order to live life. 
Because when you live to survive, unsay may tabo, manikas ka, mangawat ka, mo take advantage ka sa uban. You look at yourself and you say, ako'y una, ani ha? Ako'y una sa listahan, sa vaccine, for me to survive. Sometimes we live to survive. We are so afraid to die and we want to survive. Kasi kung saan pa ni Muglihay, maabot yun ang kamatayon. We forget to live in order to live life in its fullness. And when you live life in its fullness, there is joy, there is love, there is kindness. Because that is what life is. And that is the road to eternity. So live life for eternity. Choose to live life every day in order to live, not to survive. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, how beautiful life is. Choose to live in order to live, not to survive. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, here Jesus is saying in this gospel, whoever believes has eternal life. I want to say it again. Whoever believes has eternal life. We are for eternal life. We turn now in prayer to God, the Father, who from the generosity of his heart has sent his Son, Jesus, the bread of life. And we say, Lord, hear our prayer. that the people of God, nourished by the Eucharist, may unite to per persevere in lives of faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not fail to share our earthly bread with those in need and so become like the self-giving Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may be strengthened by receiving the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the Lord's promised heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, we know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need. Hear the prayers of those who cry to you. Receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. and our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. The duty no salvation. 
At all times so claim your Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, universe cast down is renewed, integrity of life restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You're indeed holy, O Lord, upon all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. We send it on your spirit of them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us, the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time you must be betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope for the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who pleased you to all the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. Lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID 19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible for your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other 
See us through this crisis. Lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady held to the sick, St. Joseph, St. Raphael the Archangel, St. Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsud. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahug and Family.